Hello everyone. Uh, let me just find the video. In one second. Hello, Debbie. Right, hello everyone. We're well, I'm gonna make a mixed media layout tonight. Um, we're live on our two YouTube channels, which is mine and Mum's, and on the main Facebook page. Um, hello, Di. Uh, we're gonna get started probably because it's a mixed media layout, which means we need things to dry. We still have the aircon going at our house because it is hot, 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 hot in central Queensland. So let's get started. I've got a few I have photos today would you believe. I've also got like a simple chipboard title. I only have two pieces of pattern paper because I'm not really going to go paper heavy I don't think. I'm not going to go paper mad. I've got ghouls of course and a stamp. So, might learn things but I do think we need to get the I'm Carlos and D the layout done first. Oh, before we do that, I've got community announcements. Sorry. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Pam. Before we get really stuck, stuck into it. Um, so, so it's just moving some of my paper stuff. Uh, we, this is this week's classes. I'll show you quickly. So that's from the card class, which was last night. Because Tuesday was Boxing Day. And this is our... Wednesday night scrap of clay taught both by me um yay and then uh tonight we're doing this one and then tomorrow is our virtual crop uh and you guys can come create it should be loads of fun uh there are several challenges uh we've been finalizing the details and then we'll do a weekly roundup to start that off tomorrow morning and if you want the early bird price for your retreat, you do have to book it today for the February one. Not for the lavender one, for the nautical one it is. Oh, well, that's okay. Very have a great day. Well, hello, Laura. Right, so let's get started. Let's cut. I think I'm going to use, I've been done to use this piece of Super Fun Times paper number one. I love it. It's one of my favourite pieces. It just looks so bright and happy. Anyway, um, so let's come in and cut this down to 12 inches. I am using our Acacia Craft trimmer just because my mum's got a guillotine out in the dining room currently. So there we go. So we cut that down to 12 inches. So that's going to be our back room. So how much is the virtual retreat tomorrow? Oh, no, no. So tomorrow the virtual crop, completely free challenges are going to be in the creative family group. Um, so if you're not in that, just uh, go ahead and ask to join. You do have to answer a few questions and promise to be polite, but pretty simple. Um, we went from desk over Christmas. Ooh. Well, then it's a perfect time to get back in. But, yeah, so tomorrow's virtual crop, completely free. Uh, the challenges, you can still add to them for about a month. We're going to be running it. It's just that tomorrow's going to be, like, the main day. We'll release the challenges and we'll show kind of our interpretations on some of the challenges. Um, and then, yeah, so it should be fun. It's just going to be a fun day. It's, like, a fun way to say goodbye to 2023 and hello 2024. 
which is going to be the year of uh, friendship through craft, which should be fun because who doesn't like crafting with friends and making new friends through craft? Right, so let's grab our, our bracket set out. Let's grab out our 8 inch up. Yes, I do think that one. Oh, hello, Cheryl. Yeah. Several challenges. So it is 8 inches. And. Yeah, we should be able to fit both of our photos in. Excellent. Which is what we want. So we're just going to come in. Put it over the side we don't want. Oh, we could use one of these seams. It's eight inches, so it fits perfectly, and we still get. So this is where decision making time comes into play. Whether you want to keep those ones, or those ones, or those ones. I feel like I want to keep him. I feel like he describes Amelia and I the best. Just gonna, we're going to come and use this side instead. And what the fuck is in it? What? I forgot the pencil. I want to move the rest of her stuff off her desk. Nope, there's one. Hello, Karen. Right. Oh, and hello for, to anyone over on the tube. And hello, Margaret. There we go. So, yeah, we're on for our YouTube channel. So, depending on what your device is like. So we're just going to use our 8 inch bracket set, come in, um, all of you weekly classes will probably be bouncing for joy next week because I think one might be back into the weekly classes next week. Um, you won't have madness of me trying to remember my measurements again. God, my class was a bit interesting. I'm truly sorry. We did sort out the situation eventually. We had to go for this paper. Right, there we go. So we're just going to come in. Scissors. Mom really did grab everything with my guess. As you can tell, I'm very organized. Just going to come and roughly cut that one out. And I did say these two funny little characters here as well. Here we go. Mum will be back next week, hopefully. And starting in the January group. So anyone who's bought the January class kits or kit or one of the kits or um, a subscription, make sure you go uh, to your emails or to the product that you bought it from. And just click the Facebook group link and then click join the group. So then we can let you all in on either the Sunday or the Monday. Um, heads up, we do stop accepting people into the group half an now before the card making class. And then if anyone asks to join the group after that class, we'll let you in then just because we try not to do too much background stuff with Facebook groups while we're live as it can cause just a teeny bit of havoc. Oh yay Cheryl, that's excellent to hear that you're oh, get some right. oh no Pam I hope you guys are alright. You've had some wild weather down south. We've just been hot all week. 
but you guys have had severe thunderstorms. I heard somewhere had flooded. I haven't been watching the news this week, I'll be completely honest. Um, I've been news free. Don't know if I particularly like being news free, but you know. Not have benefits in it. Yeah, I hope the there we go. Right, so let's have a look at this. We've got this one here. Yeah, and then if we have maybe a strip of that behind. Obviously that very cut down a bit more into a square so they can sit on top like so. With that raised and then some stenciling. Maybe even a big B cut out of our vellum as well and put over here. And then some outlining of our buzzy bees. Our bugs and a few stamps. What do you what do we think? She certainly has the um thinking uh the bus arrival for time here yesterday. Oh my goodness, it wasn't due until at the earliest Jan third. Wow, that that is that is record time, Deborah. Record time. Right, let's get started, shall we? Okay. So I might come and put these on background first, stencil these tile down, so these are going to take the longest, and then come back and deal with the vellum and photo situation. I know I should have a design board we'll get to it in a moment. <laughs> Let's Louise, I'm so glad it arrived. Um, we really did push to get all of your Geeks kits out before we went um, to Christmas. They were out for a couple of weeks actually, but yeah, we um, on Tuesday we'll be back in the store full time. So um, the orders from this week will be getting sent to them. I do have quite a few colour cuts left to make. Leave it to that. That palette knife's not going to work. I'm not coordinating enough of that business. There we go. So one bit of tiling. Now they think we come up here. No, she isn't too sick anymore. She's still she tested positive yesterday still, but she's feeling um a lot better, which is good. When we're I think we're nearly at the point where she's um all get all good again. She's officially not infectious anymore, which is great. Uh, I think that's tomorrow actually, because she got it on Sunday. I don't know. None of us in the family have got it, so that's Oh, sorry, I'm using modeling paste with the stencil, so we're gonna do this in just a few areas, I think. And it matches our bracket as well, which is quite nice. 
Um, we're not going to be inking this layout today. Uh, just making that a bit of a note now. As yet. It's not happening. Do you think that looks pretty good? Look at that. Okay, so we're just going to set that to one side so then it dries. It'll dry fairly quickly because the weather we're having. Um, if you do live in a colder climate, um, you might have to give it a little bit more time. a difference there is a bit of a difference so modeling paste has a lot more body to it you can get a lot more rays out of it um, it's less liquid and more paste a gesso is a lot more liquidy so even with stenciling you're not going to give you're not going to get like a raise with it it's going to be more like a paint it's going to go flat when it dries whereas modeling paste keeps its um dimension so there is a little bit of a difference. Modeling paste is a little bit more opaque as well. Some gessos are completely opaque, um, but most do have a bit more of a translucent property to them. So when you mix them with other paint colors, it doesn't completely forgo the color that you're mixing it with. Um, uh, the Montmartre one's pretty good. So yeah, but a bit of a difference. And it is good that she's recovering. Uh, yeah. And they want another week where she's not good. Right, so let's see. So we've got a few bits and pieces. We definitely want um, a strip of this pineapple on underneath our bracket. So we're just going to come in. So a strip of that pineapple off. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to grab our trimmer because we're using a trimmer tonight, which I feel a lot safer when using a trimmer. Not going to lie. I have grown used to the guillotine, I will admit that. It's better than the first class when I used a guillotine um, back in last year. Uh, and it was like a tranquility double, I think we did. And. I think the class took twice as long because I just couldn't fasten the pace with the guillotine. I've had close calls. Um, and it's not with the Couture brand one, it's with the other brand ones, but it's just... Yeah. I, I do like the Couture one. There's a lot more safety with that one, to be honest. Right, so that piece there... Is... Oh my gosh, look at that! Two and three quarters wide. Oh. That's more half. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that word. It's just classy. Just classy. Oh, hold up. And we want to make this into a square. Oops, how much happens if we cut it to four inches? Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's go a little bit off the cheek. Mm, we could probably go a bit further. Okay, and then let's go a little bit off the Amelia side. Okay, that's four by four inches. So we've got a six by four and a four by four inch photo. Excellent. Okay, and then let's come in Put it over the other side.
Uh, Amelia and I went through a bit of a phase where pretty much every day when I was in grade 12 uh, and I'd get b back to the shop after school, we would lay down on the carpet in like the art section where all the paints were hanging and we would take at least 10 to 20 filter photos. And um, I, I like the little ritual, I will fully admit to that. We got lots of photos. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. We um, got to test our true sense of creativity and uh, pulled lots of faces. It's good. I'm very confident with having a photo taken. We don't use filters as much anymore as I do not have Snapchat, so um, yeah. We don't really use filters anymore in the photos we take, but we still take a lot of selfies. Okay. Yeah, we Pure enjoyment. Lots of stories to tell, and we would gossip, of course, while we were taking the, the silly photos. Because, you know. She'd have lots to tell me about what happened at the shop while I was at school. Yeah. Amelia Ann. Oh, would you like a design board? Wow. Yes. Considering your sister was meant to use one today and she just crafted it on it. I could have used it pretty much all today. Yep, she was crafting on yours. Oh, and she's even christened yours with paint because yours was perfect until... My a layout that I was doing today took twice as long, I reckon, because I did not have a design board. There you go. Design board your way. Thank you. Oh, hello, Bronnie. Hello, darling. Hello, hello everybody. I'm hoping to oh. be normal tomorrow. They're saying hello to you. Oh. Hello, everyone. I really hope I'm back to normal tomorrow because I've got nothing done. This week, I'm annoyed. She's had to rest. Oh, no. I'm dead She's had to nap. What will she do? It's alright. She doesn't have the strength yet to um. Yeah, I don't have the strength to come after this. I'm just. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is glad to hear that she was on the mend. Although. Um, Dad could tell that she was getting better yesterday because he already got in trouble three times before <laughs> we went over to the shop to pick uh, some orders and um, he's just like, oh, just testing the limits to see how much I can get away with but I reckon she's getting better. Yep. So just in Mm -hmm. I had a lot of plans while on holidays and done nothing. Well, I think sometimes doing nothing is the best thing because you get rest and you can rejuvenate. Where did the chipboard go? Oh, there's the chipboard. Alright, so that's 
let's get this laid out properly. Now let's do some planning to scale. So serious. I did just spend all his all that time cutting out those legs to make sure they were good. Um, yep. And we've got storyline there. Now I do think we need this to be in threes, this one. Yeah, so we're just going to come in. I'm going to try and get this down to four inches. It would be probably better if I marked it, but you know what? Can we learn from our mistakes? Yeah. It's a bit small. What we can do. Because it did end up being before we cut it into a diagonal was three and three quarter by three and three quarter so yeah we got a new baby budgie come out of its box today was so excited when i found it uh, when i found it tonight oh bonnie has a new baby budgie mm -hmm. yeah looking for Okay. Do you reckon we need goals? I don't know if we need. Oh, what's happening to me? Do, don't know if we need goals. Statement I thought I'd never say. One minute. Our modeling paste is dry. It's summer. It's dry. It's a miracle. look at that beautiful now we just need some paint and then we are on our way what color do you reckon we should do my instinct is pink heads up mom has a photo of it man oh cool beans have to look at it after class um what color do you reckon we should do oh hello it is so cute. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the title in yellow. But I feel like we just need some paint coming out of our bracket. So I can, I got this green, which is a completely new color. So you know why not? I do have this orange, but I feel like it might become a bit like a prison uh, color. I've got this dark pink. I don't know. I don't look a bit too dark. I've also got this yeah, this pink. Sorry, not yellow, pink and green. What are we feeling? Just well, maybe not yellow. Maybe we do go with the. I have used this light pink this week, but I do like it. It looks quite nice. Reckon light pink. Or do you think we go completely bonkers and go green? These are the questions you've got to ask. Mm. So I do have these bugs as well that we could use. Go pink, go pink. I reckon we yeah, go pink or go high and high. Right, here we go. Let's let's all oh, excellent. We've got two people with pink. Let's go pink. And um, let's go bonkers, go green, not green. <laughs> Maybe not green tonight. Oh, hello, Jacqueline. Oh, it wasn't completely dry, sorry. No, false marketing. Luckily, that's my design board. Neither do I have to clean it off. It's great. It can be like my phone. Cover. I have modeling paste all over my phone cover. 
and it's not coming off. But it's in like that really annoying spot where everything's always mentioned and it's like just below where the time bit is off to the right, just there. It's about a centimeter circle, or one point five centimeter circle. Now I'm the one who put it there, which is the problem, because I cannot blame anyone else for it. Right, so we're just going to come in, get some of that paintbrush, add a bit of pink, and a bit of water, and let it drip. If you're worried about adding too much water, you can come in with the spritzer bottle. Did not grab it off mum before I started though. I'm not too worried. Drowning it is not going to be a problem. We drown it, we distress the page, and then we just come in. With some extra paper. Definitely think we needed some pink up here. Pink or purple would be better than green. Mm. Karen, what is on the green up is Time to make sure that this is in the correct spot. You definitely want to make sure that the mulling paste is dry before you add your pink. Okay. I think we missed the mark on this side of the pink, so I definitely think we need to come in up where that rainbow is. So up where this rainbow is here. Yeah. So now we've got that applied, let's come in and dry it to make sure it's completely all good. Where is the heat thing? The algae. Oh, you would think I'd get better at using Mons area by now. Oh, gosh, I can touch it in here. Nope. Okay, so let's just come and dry this.
<laughs> so Paige has buffed a fair bit, but I just want to see how strong that pink was going to be. I'm going to keep adding layers if I need to add another layer of pink, but it stayed mostly its colour, so I think it looks pretty nice. And I am loving the cold blend as well, sure. I think it looks, as you can see, and it's blended in with that modelling paste really well because it was dry, so it made the modelling paste stayed separate, so the pink went over the top. Trying to get it some looks all right when you see it. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so now definitely think we need some stamping. This is my personal like um, touch, so understanding if you guys don't really follow what exactly, that's okay. Mixed me mixed media is very interpretive. Oh, we're missing the purple. Hmm. I'm trying to purple in the pastel colors. We do, we do, we do. Does it work? Is the next question. Hmm. I think it might be out of ink. Okay. Pastel pens might be out of ink. However, I do have these twin markers. Do you like the outcome? Maybe if we go this color, okay. Like it's a nice one and it does match the suns. You know, match our pineapple paper. Ooh. With maybe the dark or light blue one and then let's just put this back on. Maybe not that colour actually, let's go for what we could I think it'll stand out quite nice. Yes, let's do it. Let's be wild. Let's go green. And then we'll add a bit of purple in. So let's just come in. Um, you could use any type of pen at the moment. I'm just coming in and tracing my bugs. Or if you wanted them to be full and not just the outlines. Would come in and use the um the paints or ink, maybe anything. So we've got a few of our bugs there. What do you think? Oh! 
They look quite funky without centers. Oopsies, one minute. Steering me. Okay, and now if we come up I'll just do not as big as a swarm as we did down there. This is missing. Light flicks. Mr. Wayne. Fix the missing one. Mm -hmm. A few more up here as well. well. Let's just grab out our board for a minute. Here we go. We're going backwards and forwards with the board. Let me see. A few more up here. Mm. I am going to use modeling paste to stick down um, this the this vellum here, so then it's opaque. I'm also going to use the same bit so this these ones here, but not with the backing piece. Maybe a few here. Um, yeah. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Let's remove. Just above that bit there, so. Yeah. 
Just a little bit of stamping. But in this washi grid. So we do need something to offset when our when our yellow vellum becomes a lot brighter. I know it's hard to imagine it now, but we are gonna use modeling paste behind it so it's gonna be a lot more brighter. So come in. Just stamp. Now I'm using the honeycomb stamp. It's honeycomb one. Yep, it's honeycomb one. I'm using a green pastel or the pastel Charisse. S H A R T R E U S E. And I'm mixing it a little bit with the, the light pink we used earlier just because I got some of it on my hand by accident. So now you know. Kind of have to. Use a little bit of it. And then we can make a little bit of our hive. Up here. Um, yeah. coming in. And spread on that green around just a little bit. It's just like inking, but less consistent. It's quite fun, really. Okay, now let's come and lay this out and have a look at where we're at. We might be at the sticking, yes. What are we looking at? What is that hashtag we're using this year? Next year. Uh, oh, in the book um, on top of my laptop and on my, my iPad back. So if I can. No, not that one. It's got 108 written on the top of it it's white it might be separate from the book actually in the ipad bag still it's a sheet of paper it's got like 108 written on the top of it 
top. Oh, what's the hashtag? I haven't come up with it yet. I thought it was going to be 24 YFC. One minute, sorry. I'm sure you excelled at finger penny in kindergarten. YFC 2024. Yes, that's it there. Year of friendship through craft. Yes. I think I might have. Hey, Mom, did I successfully excel at um, finger painting in kindy? You were the messiest. Ha! I excelled. That's what I'm taking it as. Right. I do believe we're ready to stick down. Look how bright that looks and happy. No, Ava just realised it is you making the page tonight and you taught how to draw the frogs of the show and she thinks you're pretty, your page is pretty. Oh, thank you, Ava. Thank you. Yes, I am the crazy lady who taught how to, people how to draw frogs in Melbourne. Um, just to make you feel a little bit repeat off, uh, when we taught that frog class in store the school holidays because it was demanded by a few of the customers by a few of them the primary school age customers they really wanted to do the frog so we we did do it under request um i didn't make them draw it we traced it for them so i don't know how that would make you feel but um learning experience though feel the daggers right here we go so I feel like we're looking pretty good we just have to stick it on stick it down and I forgot the trippy strips okay here we go can I have some chippy strips, please? What's that? Can I have some chippy strips? needed the glue I just realized. Could you get my mum's glossy accents? I don't know you're using glossy accents. I need a pro it. And I'm teaching the class to make it pro. Can you just use one of these? Is there any glue left on one of these? Can I just borrow the glossy accents for a minute? <laughs> Why not? I will go and get something else. <laughs> you have to go and get the glossy accents. I don't want to come out here and get The, the glue is stuck on the bottom of this bottle. You need to go and get the glossy accents. Stop complaining. Like, okay. I will fully admit that I did not want to trace the frogs. On this one. Oh, we'll trace the frogs for you. Oh, no. Aren't you designing first? We we have design now. Pass over the glossy accents. Sure yes, it's seven fifty eight. Do we want me to remind Mel of your bedtime? <laughs> All right. Well, then I suggest yes that you make a graceful exit. How do I do that? How do you think you do it? Uh, I don't know. Do I just walk out? Yes. Oh, okay. See ya. Bye. I don't care. 
Okay, I'll tell mommy then. No, don't you dare. Or else I will stick stickers all over your bed. And I've got lots. Now, before you play this game with me, how far are you going to go? Um, pretty far until you can't go any further. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to have to do this all again and over. Mm -hmm. Strong words. For someone who's already passed up past their bedtime. Sorry, we're chippy stripping the back of our bracket piece. Um, yes, Mum was the one who promised the frog to be traced for the kids' classes. Mm -hmm. I traced the frog. I did not realize how long it took to draw one of them. I do prefer teaching how to draw the animals. It saves me a lot of time and energy personally but I do understand that some people find drawing animals particularly difficult. I get that. I respect that. I just believe in pushing people outside their comfort zone. Right. Although the frog wasn't as bad as the crazy llama, the mystic llama we did this summer holidays. Um, we do have more kids classes coming after when we get back to store after the new year we're gonna just yeah gonna be releasing those after this weekend i'm just finishing off a few of them we gotta figure out when the times are gonna be because i'm gonna be back at my remote job soon yay Oh, so it gets stuck there. So we can get stuck there. So we might just come in and we'll double strippy strip this. What? I can draw a good stick figure, but in your class I did manage the fox and the fox. Yeah, see? Simple shapes. So yeah. Everything can be broken down into simple shapes. Right, so we double layered that now on chippy strips. It does have a bit of my hair stuck in it, so I'm just removing my DNA. You know, we do have a bit of the bulgies going on here. It's because I heated it. Okay. So let's remove this photo. We're going to do these three bits at the same time. I have to practice my sense of work like I had to practice cake looking and I've been doing geeks classes today and tired and tried, yes, tried to use a stencil to really help with it. Oh that's okay. Everyone needs practice. I can completely understand. I still find it very hard to use a palette knife. I have to um use these type because it's like bothering a piece of bread that's the only way I get past. Um, blending brushing it I can do it easily. Uh, I think I get to use my fingers with it pretty I'm pretty good at. Flame it to that I'm a hands-on type person. Okay. I forgot this was vellum. Oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. It's vellum, it's vellum, it's vellum. Okay. So 
So we're going back now. Vellum. Vellum does some moisture. Mm, this might be a dumb idea. It could be potentially a very dumb idea. It's okay. We will figure it out. Before it starts to completely curl on me. Flip over, flip over, flip over, flip over. Do a bit of a gap. Stick, 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 stick. Maybe we'll be leaving a bee for a minute. Okay, now we need to tape on the back of this photo. Maybe we should have pre-taped it. We'll discover that next. Cleaning modeling paste off my photo. Part planning. Okay. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely should have. Let's keep that a little bit off anyway. Come in with some glue. I'm sticking down the very tip of it. There we go. Now. We do need to deal with this paintbrush. Mulling paste on it. Should never end well. Paint brushes. We're just going to come in. Mulling rinse that one quite well. Go. We got our watercolor real quickly. So that was just a little bit difficult. And now we still have to, oh, where's our title go? Right, one minute, before we get too far. Which might be a little bit late to say that one. It's a bit late. Okay. So I'm going to use my paint marker. 
color in my title. Oh my god, that um, looks excellent. Ooh. Actually, I'm only going to need watercolor. I'm just coming with that same paint marker and we'll add that color around the edges. Just a little bit of a stitching pattern. Okay, and then you can see a bit of stitching, but I do want a few areas just to be a tiny bit darker. So I'm just going to come in with my watercolor and just a bit of this pink. Um, there is going to be a kit for this class, just as a heads up moment. It isn't going to be made until after class. I'm nearly done. And then if we come in, okay, do just a bit of this yellow. As circles. They're not the best round circles. I will fully look for that.
Okay. And then... Okay, so we just come in now. If I go and sit down our title, I'm looking over here. Maybe even there. Mm. Not there. I was thinking if we do it there and then you could have journaling strips or some white cardstock if I can find any. Oh dear. Niels, do you have any white card stock out there? Uh, I could lend you some. That would be great. Can I have it? Do you Thank need the card stock? I've only got small pieces of card stock. No, I only need small pieces. I don't need a full background piece. We got like a rich bit. Uh, some more rich bits. Uh, we got this small bit. Okay, yep, that'll do. Thank you. And whatever you don't use, just give it back. Okay, well, I'm not going to use the two rich bits. That's yours. These are mine, though. I've got this one. Mine. Okay, right. So let's make these it's a half, hold up. Let's make these half an inch wide. Yeah, half an inch. Wide strips. That one there is not straight. Let's go with maybe hmm, the blue. So then, John. Hey, that looks cool. Do you need anything else to go on it? Do you want the box of fussy cutting? No. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think it needs anything else, do you?
you don't want to show them what we've done for tomorrow. Do you want to give them a quick flash up of what they got? Or just say, I've told them about tomorrow, but do you want to grab the pages? See mm -hmm. if they can guess the challenges, maybe. Okay. Sorry. That's a notice in the pages tonight. Missy's scores of mischief. <laughs> Sorry, people. Being a right roll right now, so we're gonna finish this class off real quick so I can go and see why. Um, right, there we go. So, we should be stripped all of those up. I like it. I'm gonna go and make the kit after class and get that up because, yeah, didn't have a scribe tonight, so no kit was made during the class, but that's okay. Oh, where am I? Power mode of 10%. When did that rock up? Ah, four percent ago. Right. Thank you all for coming. We're gonna finish this quickly because the phone is dying. Um, thank you guys for your lovely comments. So this is our mixed media page tonight. Used lots of stencils, one stamp, and had lots of fun. So in the um kit, just a heads up, you won't be getting the stencils or the stamp, but you will be getting the chipboard the paper, and the vellum. So, um, yeah. Should look nice. Um, so thank you all for coming, and we shall see you all tomorrow for our weekly roundup where you guys get the first look at what the challenges are for our virtual crop, and we can't wait to see what you all create for that weekend. So have a lovely um, evening, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!